Dr. Weeks, tell us what is your enrollment like this school year? This school year, our enrollment is approximately 223, and we would have added approximately 35 new um, students for this year up to this point, simply because we do take students at term one, term two as well in January. So chances are the enrollment will go up, but our approximate enrollment at this time is 223. Okay. Have you, um, with the increase in the need for children to have more um, aid in the classroom, have you added any teachers to some of the classrooms well, or what, split some of the classrooms? Yes. What we've done this year is we split um, critical classes so that the students can have additional attention. Um, we're very concerned about reading, for example which I know is a concern across the educational spectrum. So by dividing the groups, we're ensuring that the students have a little more individual attention this year. Okay. Can you talk to some of the activities, the extracurricular activities that the children also have available at the school? So we have a number of activities available. Football, the football club is one that the children enjoy. And we do have girls on football club as well. The road tennis is another one. And this year we are adding a number of clubs because we really want our students to be well-rounded. So we're going to be doing the computer club which will have some coding, um, helping the children to be able to do basic things on the computer, maybe do flyers, um, do some PowerPoint. That will be happening this year. Um, we also will be instituting our music club our preachers club, there are a number of the children who go to various churches and preach, so we will be having the preachers club being run by our chaplain. And But more importantly, we're going to be having a reading club in full force this, this year. Um, we're going to have maybe two groups going, and we've been fortunate to get the pledges from some teachers to come in in the evening to work with the children. So what we, we, we have done is that those children who would need special help with reading as would have been identified by the teachers, those will be the first ones. But we've already set up our space for our reading club, and so that's going to be big. As the year goes on, we will be adding other clubs, for example, our agriculture club. But for this term, we're going to work on those three clubs and make sure that they're going strong. Um, speak to us about the reading club. What age groups or what classes will you begin from um, as it relates to um, having children practice their reading? Well, we really we want to start from as far as infants A. But for this year, the first, the first term at least, we're going to be doing a heavy focus on those who are in class 1, 2 and 3. But the idea is for the entire school, wherever the need arises, we will be doing the reading. And we want our children to get into reading in any case. Whether or not they have a deficit, we want them to cultivate the art of reading because we recognize that that's a dying art. Right. We know that that is one of the things that suffered a lot when, with children um, after the COVID-19 period. Um, how have children have um, been adjusting or coming out <coughs> of that, um, that issue? Well, I would say that the children seemingly have adjusted fairly well. Um, one of the areas that we would have noticed would be that of socialization. Because obviously a child starts school online and they would have been online for at least two years and not meeting with their classmates, not meeting in person with their teachers, that we noted would have been a challenge. We're, we're pretty much over that having been back out for at least another two years or so. But in terms of, of reading and the ability of children to focus on the task at hand, that was an area that we would have worked on really hard to ensure that we get the children into the mode of being in the classroom. But you would imagine with the online, um, there were challenges because there are times when children may be logged on but not actually in the classroom or they're distracted doing something else at home. So we recognize that coming out of the online experience, 
that we would have had some children who needed additional help. Thankfully, we are pretty much moving them out of the system now, having been back in school for some time.